And I don't know why you want to keep allying with me. Maybe because you want to also fight against... You know, and also, why am I allied to you anymore? Can I get this alliance out of here? Those are two alliances. If anything, it'd be better for us to, like, conquer you. Okay, we now have a German military alliance. Justify a really cheap Costas Belly. Apparently 2.5 infamy, that's it. Just my Costas Belly against the Austrians. We don't even, like, it'd be nice to dismantle their empire. We don't technically need to do that. If we can get to at least Croatia, I think I still feel like that's pretty good. We just want to crush their military and reduce their prestige to basically nothing. Well, I don't... Well, they have a thousand points. Well, I won't quite get them low enough to, uh, I think, be underneath our, beneath, be underneath us. It gets us closer where we want to be. Yeah, and the thing is, like, you can't get here. The Canadians are sending naval units over here. Canada has actually invaded... Oh, you've actually landed in Japan. Okay. How much does Japan have? They have 200 divisions. Apparently, those divisions are not actually in... That is a huge army. How did you land so many troops in Japan? That's what I'm surprised about. It's how you accomplish that. Germany, are you at war? You're allied to Britain. I mean, Serbia. We also have strategic reasons to go to war with the Austrians. And technically also the Dutch. But I mean, Germany, you can defeat the Dutch pretty easily. Do they even have an army? They have 72 divisions. They got six stack here. But I think most of the troops are probably in Indonesia. You know what? Yeah. Let's even get any Japanese colonies. And when is this justification done? Done in 29 days. Will I get any colonies, do you think? The war is over. Oh, you bastard! I can't even do the war anymore because of the, uh, the no more war event. China's gonna go to war to bet. I have no money, so you're not gonna get any, uh, medical aid. Nesh, I'm not allying with you. A German, British, like, if we're allied to Germany and Britain, that's, those are really good alliances to have. And when, when does No More War actually expire? Till 1927. That's... Not soon enough. Yeah, we just have no war justifications, unfortunately. So we, we need somehow for this country... I mean... How, how could you possibly break apart? We have no money to even take out a loan. We don't need any more upgrades here. But I'm still... Like, what am I spending my money on? Earning about $1,000 a day, mostly on the military, but I can't lower military costs any more than this. I guess we'll lower you. Lower you. Increase tariffs? But our tears are really not even generating much income. I wonder if we got tears down to zero then. Because, I mean, it's not making a huge difference one way or the other. So maybe no tears will mean that our population has more money? But that sometimes is the case. But right now we're at zero, zero. Not where we really want to be at, though. Denmark. Sure, we can have an alliance with you. Is there anybody that we could go to war with? I'm sure if, like... Now back, we're back in 12th place. You're in 14th place. Well, actually, who overtook us then? Japan? Japan's in 6th. Korea's in 72nd. Britain took over the island, so I don't think we got anything out of this, unfortunately. So. Who overtook us into 11th place then? China did. You know what? I guess that's kind of understandable that they would be able to do that. But it's also incredibly annoying. 
Yeah, because you have 65, you have 85. Well, you can now use gas attack. But I feel at this point, most people will already have gas defense, so it's not going to make a huge difference. Hmm. We have a thousand points to touch the Italians. What? Like, what? What can we do? What a oh, what can we do? Because we have, you have a few more years so we can even go to war. But, like, even if I could go to war, I don't have any money. I mean, I guess we're spending a lot of money on industrial subsidies. What if we cancel the subsidies? But it's going to cause a lot of our population to be unemployed, right? Yeah, we're putting thousands and thousands and thousands of people out of work. We're actually going to tank our industrial score with this. Yeah, no, we can't, we can't... Hmm. Well, what costs us the most? Closed factory in Central Greece is what's most expensive right now. Central Greece... Closed factory. But I mean, it's, it's generating a profit. Like, it's making money. Closed factory, cannery... How are you costing like 65 pounds? And I can't even open these factories because I'm too I'm too poor to open up any factories. So when, when's our next election? Our next election is December of next year. So what if What if when the conservatives win, we just kind of let them let them be in charge? You know what? Congratulations. What do we put in the fascist? State capitalist, protectionism, jingoistic, residency moralism. Because right now, we're like put it, put it in the conservatives. Okay, we have no. We don't get no tax money. That's a problem. No sub. We are not, not, not paying any subsidies, but now we also don't have any taxes. So you might want some more tax efficiency then. But yeah, but now we're down to 14th place. Now we're in 15th place. Because all of our factories shut down immediately. Yeah, hold an election. Hold an early election. Who? Oh my god. Things were going really well until I made the country bankrupt. Like, we. we it, like, it's so bad that we basically almost got. Like, you almost stopped becoming a secondary power. Because of how horrible this, like, laissez-faire is. Like, that's pretty bad. Let's get more tax efficiency. Try to earn some more money that way. Japan is... I mean, that's a cool little flag. They're a republic. Okay, so the Republic of Japan has been formed. It's still got like massive, massive industrial base, but like, what can you do about that? Okay, now you guys are at war again, even though you have the same ruling party, quite literally, you're both the Kuomintang. Lose three prestige, put us down quietly. Go for acceptable health care. What is the 
this election over? I'm not too, too sure, honestly. They want unemployment subsidies, but, like, I don't have any money. Even if I gave you the unemployment subsidies, I couldn't actually pay you them. So I'm not, I'm not too sure what you want. Okay, the socialists have won. Planned economy. They're anti-military. Will he open up all the factories again? But now there's so many unemployed people because the factories, like, they all got shut down. They reversed them back down to level one. That even just getting back to where we were is... Crank up taxes. We have 43, 43 pounds. Social spending. I think social spending has actually gone up because there's just a minimum because the socialists are in charge. Do I just become a coward to put the liberals back? Because what does planned economy do? Because I think it gives you some cheaper... Um, is it like cheaper factories for us? Import costs, minimum tax, factory owner cost, more throughput, and the ability to do whatever I want. When when does this when when does this um no more war expire? It expires in November. We can't, but the thing is, like, we're not in, like, 11th place anymore, so going to war with Austria right away doesn't do anything. And we only have, we have, like, nine years. In order to be in the position I want to be in. Well, we have hundreds, we have, like, hundreds of thousands of unemployed workers right now. Which is pretty bad. And we're too... I mean, yeah, we're actually generating an income now. Precious goods, taxes. You're going to give us a little bit more tax efficiency. Because right now, effective tax is 42%. So 42, I guess we like 5% more. Is that... Croatia, are you independent now? You are independent. Good for you. You're allies of the French now. Oh, you're a great power again? Huh. Who dropped out of the great power list then to put you there? Italy. Okay. I mean, you're still fighting a war. You got 944 points. You know what, Croatia? Sure, let's have an alliance. I mean, again, it would be nice to go to war with the... Uh, I mean, would it be nice to go to war with Austria? And also, again, we have no money. We're once again broke. Cut education spending, I guess. We have burden of colonial administration. How do I make more money? We discovered ancient man. That's cool and all, but ancient ancient man's not gonna pay my tax. Like he's not gonna pay my bills. The education fishery mine is 100%. Okay. So they're basically not paying any of these people. It's not like I can make... I mean, I guess... Hmm. You have too many craftsmen here. I guess you should be farmers then? Farmers are cool, and they also don't cost me any money. Is it gonna be a farmer? Oh, cost of belly against Turkey. Well, another cost of belly against Turkey. If I go to war with Turkey, I don't even get the cost of belly because I have no more war. So I think the cost of belly just doesn't exist. Ah! We got some reactionaries here. You're gonna get killed by Turkey. Okay, we got more tax efficiency. Okay, even just that actually boosts our economy up a decent amount. You know what? Mutual funds. Give me another 5% tax efficiency. Because I think maybe we'll see some, once we pay off all of our debt. 
right? We pay off all of our debt. We'll be making an extra 44 pounds a day in income. So this place is 68% of the population is unemployed. That's, that's like really bad. Hmm. We still have Abyssinia down here. Are they even making us really any money? People are still leaving Greece. Mostly going to Bolivia and Chile. Yeah, you're getting a lot of immigrants. But not like too many people are actually leaving, which is nice. Getting a flashpoint tension here. It's it's decreasing, unfortunately. It's kind of decreasing everywhere, because I guess you're I mean you're still at war, but you're no longer a great power. Just upgrade whatever you can, please. I'm begging you. I want my I want my score back. And don't trade any more units, because again, military is like pretty expensive, and I, I can't really maintain it very well. Most of our points actually come from leaders. Does that boost our points up at all? We're at 52. Do we just the number of generals and admirals you have also give you some points? Secondary power, literacy rate. We're getting uh, 2.87. I think you need, what, 20 points? So every, like... Well, once a year, we can get a new one more point from that. But, I mean, that's not... One point in 1928 doesn't mean anything. Unfortunately. You guys are still at war, huh? You're, you're allied to so many people. You're now, once again, in ninth place. I'm assuming China is in eighth? Yes. So China is soon going to become a great power. Maybe because they came civilized, they kind of um, broke the world economy. I know that's a situation that uh, sometimes can occur. Thing is, though, if, if like, with France and... Well, I mean, it's France on the German border. Russia's ally to the French, so we could see like a major war break out there. I mean, you're at 81%. Great powers are at war. It's a 0.024 modifier. Bulgarian liberation movement is pretty high. Yeah, Bulgaria wants to be independent. Germany will definitely back Serbia in that crisis. Just because, you know, they're actually in their sphere. Or at least they should back Serbia in the crisis. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so the Dutch would probably back Bulgaria then. And then everything just kind of goes out of control at that point. Probably be Germany and... Germany, UK against France, Austria, Russia. And just a massive war that destroys all of Europe. And I'm okay with that. Destroy as much as you need if it allows me to, uh... Get some semblance of power again. Yeah, we owe more money. We actually owe less money than before. One of one of the countries that owed us money went bankrupt themselves or something like that. Actually, you know what? It's probably like southern China that owed us money. And then they stopped existing. Oh, the war is actually happening right now. France wants Alsace Lorraine. Are you mountains? No. So who are we at war with? We're at war with a lot of people. Are you not allied? Did Britain reject the offer? I think so. Syria. You know what, Syria? You can have military access. The Russians are here. But now I gotta spend military... I just gotta spend money again in order to maintain uh, my natural integrity. How many, much manpower? You can actually have, two, you can put two armies here. 
Okay, so Serbia's going to be marching up towards the north. You also have war with Romania as well. But I think you have war with Romania for a completely separate reason. Yeah, Romania just wants territory. I mean, Germany... I honestly think Germany against France, Russia, and Austria should still win. Man, there's a handful of Russian troops down here. Spain, you can have military access. That's fine. Question is, are you going to fight this army... You're in grasslands. No, fall back to the mountains. Yeah, I mean, if we're here, you shouldn't fight us too much, I'm hoping. But because now we're broke again. And there's nobody... I, I, like, I can't call anybody into the war. I mean, the Spanish are... I mean... Huh. Well, Germany tried... I mean, France is now winning. The French have arrived down in our colonies in the south. I just wonder how nice it would be if the, uh... Like, if Britain also got involved and this became the Great War. Like, are you... You're definitely not at war with Russia or Bulgaria. Well, you're not, you're not at war with Russia or France, I should say. So you're kind of, like, doing a whole different thing. Okay, so you've already lost. I, I thought Germany would actually win against everybody, but it turns out they won against nobody. Okay, so you guys just go like this. So Germany once again has lost the... Uh, they've lost, they lost power. Does that affect Europe in any significant way? I'm going to go and lean towards no on that. And Romania is definitely going to lose. 